Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line Place of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We have a daily challenge today as Maggie. Let's we'll see how we did yesterday. We were like, we did okay. It sounds like I'm an asshole now that I realize I've beaten everybody on our friends list, but uh, we did fine. It could have been better. I took some, some damage I'm not particularly proud of. Uh, and then if we look at today's daily, who's done it? Wow. Um, this scares me. It's a Mega Satan run. Uh, Iluk has a really high ranking despite dying. So this strikes me as what is probably going to be a fairly difficult daily challenge here, uh, which I'm excited for, honestly. We've had a lot of challenges lately that have been like, eh, you know, they're not uh, incredibly easy, I guess, but they haven't been, like, uh, very, very difficult. So to have one here that looks like it's uh, really putting people through their paces is nice, and it gives us an opportunity to kind of rise to the occasion, or also possibly completely fuck up and die and feel like an idiot. Um, obviously, Gemini is our first item. is not particularly incredible, but it is, uh, it's okay. And Degas is, like, I mean, is it the best rune we could get in the early game? Probably. If we don't have any other opportunities to pick up spirit hearts, uh, something like a Degas rune is going to be amazing to give us that deal with the devil protection that we desire. So, we will come in here, and admittedly, Gemini doing quite a lot of damage to those, uh, those minions on the last room. Good enough for crowd control. Kind of a little disappointing when it comes to, um, you know, bosses like this. But we're only one BFF away, I guess, from really considering this to be probably a pretty useful uh, upgrade for us. Kind of close for comfort there. Again, number one strategy, boss rush plus hush. Number two strategy, don't die. Number three strategy, well, one and, one and two are kind of rolled into one. Um, number three strategy is, like, take as little damage as possible. And I, I think that's really where we can maximize our score percentage, or percentage chance. What am I talking about? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We got two keys, so we can actually get into our item room. Get notched axe. So, Notched Axe is notched good. That is, the joke didn't really work. But it might be better than Yum Heart temporarily. At least I could see it being better than Yum Heart on this floor. Uh, and then we could take Yum Heart when we go down to the next floor. What I'm getting at is hopefully we don't take damage. And if we can avoid taking damage, then we're probably going to be relatively okay with Notched Axe. Maybe it'll find a crawl space, maybe it won't. Either way, we're going to give it the old college try. I do feel like, even though Yum Heart may never get used on this entire run, it's probably more sensible to, to roll with it, just in case we, we end up finding ourselves in a position where it seems relevant. You know, a single blood bank or something like that might make the difference. But for now, let's just keep working our way towards this deal with the devil. Mm. Scared me a little bit, but ended up not being a problem at all. Um... This deal with the devil is going to do a lot to determine our momentum. I would really prefer not to have a Krampus fight this early. Uh, instead, anything that gives us precedent for the future, that's going to be nice. Man, like, no consumables. Well, no money, at least. We've gotten enough keys, which I guess, you know, there's there's other things that we could uh, be complaining about, considering we have enough keys to go around. That's, like, the number one resource for us right now. Um... Just try to keep yourself safe, but also close enough that uh, Gemini can do some damage to this guy, because he's so not tanky. Easy enough for us. we got a range upgrade and another spirit heart. And then inside of here, it's not Krampus, it's Judas's Shadow. So, we will pick up Judas's Shadow, which means we might as well pick up the Razor Blade. Although it does cost us points, I guess it takes it out of the rotation. Then we'll kill ourselves in order to respawn with Dark Judas. And that's obviously going to be an annoying damage penalty, but still... Probably worth it. We'll pop the gauze to keep ourselves going here. Uh, give ourselves as many spirit hearts as possible. And honestly, this seems okay. I'm not thrilled with the fact that we took so much damage, but we did it for a very constructive purpose. Uh, as of right now, there's pretty much no need for us to... We'll go back for that, obviously. Um, there's pretty much no need for us to take Yum Heart. And although Notched Axe is pretty god-awful, uh, I kind of want to roll with it now just to see if it ends up working out for us. Oh my god, there's a freaking Tinted Rock in here. But I used all my notched axe charges. That could be a small rock or something. Let's see what we managed to get from our mob trap room. Because we can now go into it. So, we go into it, we open it up, we get two red hearts. Uh, which, honestly, not super stoked about. But we still have a consumable we can get at the end. All we need is two cents or a bomb. And we can access that tinted rock. Or a battery. A battery would do it as well. Good stuff. He will be dead, and we do get a bonus for going into our mob trap room, or boss trap room, and actually completing it, so... Uh, from a point standpoint, this might make up for the damage that we took killing ourselves to respawn as Dark Judas, so... I think that it's... it's... 
I don't want to say zero sum, because we actually got the damage out of it, so it's probably much, much better than zero sum. Well, uh, I don't think we're unfortunately going to be able to access our Tinted Rock. Still an, an outside chance if there's like a nickel in here, but there's not. So we'll leave. We could shoot the fire in our uh, shop as well, but let's save our consumables for, you know, a guaranteed use on the next floor. There's like a slightly above zero chance that there's a penny in those, but whatever. We're still way ahead of schedule for time. Obviously, HP is something that is a little bit uh, dangerous for us right now, but that's okay. Plenty of time to, to fix that. And only one room away from being able to use uh, Notched Axe. Which, maybe we should just save Notched Axe instead of looking for a crawl space. Just save it for a Tinted Rock, like right here. Beautiful. Got another key, and of course the Spirit Heart was the big one there. I think uh, a quarter is completely worth taking. 25 cents for our item room and a key is uh, adequate. Even though it's not the best item that you can hope to get from uh, an item room, especially when you have the pedestal, uh, I, I think that that was well worth it. So we're gonna buy a Spirit Heart from our shop. It didn't end up being that uh, good, but I don't want to waste money on like the Boomerang if I don't think we're gonna use it. So uh, let's just keep ourselves a little bit financially kind of pliable here, you know, able to able to be flexible, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. We'll take that. We will go to our curse room as well, but I just wanted to see what we can handle on this floor first. Notched Axe, obviously not super relevant against a boss like the Frail, or any boss in the game for that matter. Um, but, oh, the Frail actually hit me. That scared the shit out of me. That is the first time we've been hit by an enemy, though, uh, on this entire run, which I think is probably above average. Ooh, jeez. I really hate the Frail's, um, his, like, Cricket's body shots. They're so annoying. Okay, we got a laser attack. Nothing got us there. Picked up some more HP. We're back in, like, the state that we were in before we got uh, Judas' Shadow. This is awesome so far. I mean, our damage is actually great. I'm hoping that everybody that, well, most people, I should say, that did this got uh, that Judas' Shadow deal, because it's really quite good. I don't really want to play the uh, the Judgment. The reasons for that are fairly specific to the dailies. I know a lot of people are like, NL, I wish you'd just play the dailies like you'd play a normal run, but there's a different, you know, set of constraints on, on the dailies relative to a normal run. Um, we don't want to play Judgment because it costs us a lot of points, and then we lose more points when we pick up the item. I would do it if the item had a chance to be like really relevant but if it's just what it's likely to be which is an HP upgrade it doesn't matter as much so I don't feel like uh, judgments are as big of a concern it's relatively minor though I think at least Mo usually I try to blow them up to give us more consumables and also a better chance at the uh, at the deal with the devil but I don't know if deals with the devil maybe are seeded eh, it probably is mapped that are determined by the probabilities of it so might be worth it. Again, mob trap rooms, even if not traditionally advantageous, are good for us here. More bombs as well. I don't dislike this. You think this is our secret room? No. Obviously, these are not our secret room. So instead, they would be in one of these two spots. Total waste of our bombs. Uh, okay, this is great, actually. We're gonna get five bombs and Mr. Mega ability out of this secret room. So I am glad I looked for it. And then we'll blow these guys up and probably get at least, you know... I was gonna say at least ten cents, but I guess five is okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be super bent out of shape about it, but uh, a little bit less than I would have thought there. Second secret room? Oh, come on. Just give me the easy second secret room. I don't want to waste all my bombs. Really? Now I'm, like, cemented. I've got to look for it. Okay, we got a pill out of it as well. Okay, well, it was worth coming in here. We got an HP upgrade and enough bombs to justify a little money. Oh my god, I almost got hit there. That would have been dumb. We picked up a Joker card, which we should use right away. Joker card gives us two demon hearts. That's okay. Two demon hearts we wouldn't have otherwise gotten. And a pill. Just use our pill on the next floor. No, use it now in case it's amnesia. One makes you larger. No big deal. All right, well, that was a great haul towards the end of that floor. Uh, that ended up being a, a really good second secret room for us. For right now, just focusing on taking as little damage as possible. We could get an arcade on this one. 
And I don't know, man. Mathis is always every single run that I talk to Mathis about regarding the dailies. He's always like, yeah, man. I went too hard on IV bag. I don't think I've seen IV bag on like half of the dailies that I've done. This guy's getting IV bag every single time. It's like his, it's his ticket to success, but also what enables his failure. So I have no idea what's what's causing that, one way or the other. But uh, I know that he likes it. But I do feel like even though he's beaten us on a couple of dailies, the damage penalty required to consistently get IV bag seems like it's probably cost prohibitive most of the time. But maybe I'm incorrect. Is there a Tinted Rock in here? No. I mean, I, I recognize that there's a case to be made for, hey, NL, you have Notched Axe. You should actually make an effort to use it. But I, I also I want to make sure I have it available for Tinted Rocks. But now that I look at it, why wouldn't I use it as often as possible? Because we have enough bombs now. Previously, we were running on zero bombs, so it made more of a difference. So this is almost certainly our secret room. And it was indeed. Uh, I don't know if we really want that because I don't really know what it does. But we'll investigate that at a later date, I suppose. For now, I do feel like... I mean, it's a Mega Satan run. So there's like... There's problems, you know? Mega Satan is a, a tough boss. It takes a long time to get to him. We gotta do Hush. We gotta do uh, Boss Rush. But especially now that we picked up 8-inch nails. I'm like, what's wrong with this run? This run's like... It's, it's good, man. You know, we've got an awesome amount of damage, especially because we respawned as Dark Judas. Um, I have a hard time thinking we don't at least beat Hush. Like, we, our HP is also great. The only thing I'm, I'm sort of concerned about right now is the idea that maybe we could come across a, a deal with the devil that's so good, we can't not take it. But then it ends up being very dangerous because of the amount of HP it costs as well. But, I don't know, like, it seems fine right now. Better than fine, honestly. And actually, I was just streaming, uh, I did my Fallout stream on Sunday as well. We'll take Chaos. Let's fuck it up. And, um, people were like, you'll like the daily today. It was fun. And I'm like, I'm liking the daily right now. It seems fun. Admittedly, I probably should have uh, gone to the supposed deal with the devil here before we actually took the Chaos item. And uh, I've, I've talked about why that is a number of times. But basically, like... The deal with the devil pool is like the most concentrated pool of good items in the game, so it's better not to reshuffle it. But hey, we just gotta deal with the devil item out of our uh, out of our boss fight. So I guess you know all's fair in love and war, right? Oftentimes, I find this guy pays out pretty quickly. Is this two one makes you larger? Probably should not be taking these for like I'm assuming obvious reasons. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a little bit more just to try. Obviously, I don't really want any of these deals, so... I don't mind giving him a couple spirit hearts just to, you know, push the... Push the envelope here. I'm not gonna take another one makes you larger. That's just... It's a little too much for me. Okay, he did pay out with ceremonial robes, so I feel good about that. Um, we're not even gonna take Bob's brain. I think we're gonna leave just to make sure that we know we can be safe in the future, you know, time-wise. And Curse of the Labyrinth. Well, we're definitely gonna be fast enough to get the boss rush. Now that I've taken so many one makes you larger pills, I'm like, man, we need uh, we need some speed upgrades. <laughs> that is not a speed upgrade. That is a tears downgrade. Um, well, luckily our damage is still good, mostly thank thanks to the packed pickup that helped us along there. But also, of course, I don't mind a um, I don't mind the ceremonial robes pickup either. A temperance card is very interesting. Again, I'm not sure if it's worth it thanks to the damage penalty, but it very well might be. Every special room we're going to try to go to. I mean, we have like seven minutes left before we even need to be in the boss fight. So we're definitely doing fine. These must have like a little explosion radius around them. Um, we're definitely doing fine. I just hope that uh, it doesn't fall by the wayside in the future. This is real shitty. Nice. <laughs> Just a little uh, dipsy doodle there. So we're what was our score that we're looking at? Like 28,000? Um, I mean, it's it's early. It usually gets easier to rack up points as the game goes along. So I think we're going to be okay here. 
At least for right now. Our HP looks great, you know, we're only taking deals with the devil that seem relevant. I like that chaos pickup because it means that if you, like, there's kind of like a branching path here. If you took the quarter, you probably had a good chance to get chaos. If you didn't, you probably chose not to buy chaos, or you may have just gotten the quarter and said chaos sucks anyway, and not bought it. But what I'm getting at is, like, there's a there's a point of divergence in the road here, you know? Two roads diverge in a yellow wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. Probably not. People always want to think they took the less traveled road, but they're not always taking, you know... It's not the, the going to school, getting a bachelor's degree, and getting a decent job, but that's not the less traveled road. That's, that's like the most common road at this point. You're taking, you're taking the highway, man. I mean, life is a highway, and I'm going to ride it all night long, but at the same time, so is your mother. I don't know where I was going with that. It kind of fell apart at the end. Kiefer a spirit heart. Not interested. If it was Kiefer uh, Sutherland, I'd be, I'd be okay with it. I hate the knockback on the nails, but you gotta admit, it's still like a great item in spite of that. Two of hearts. Not worth anything, unfortunately. I wonder, dude, if I talk to Mathis later today and he tells me he died. Wow, that was dumb of me. Uh, and it knocked me out of my, uh, my notched axe state as well, which is hilarious. But if he tells me he died because he used the IV bag too aggressively. I'm gonna make a funny tweet about it, and I expect you guys to be there to favorite it. Uh, let's come down through here. I think this is more likely to be a, a dead end, or maybe our boss fight area. But uh, yeah, we're looking for shops, we're looking for both item rooms. That's that's a no-brainer at this point. Nun's Habit, I think, is fine. Holy Water is not, obviously. This is a dead end. I don't really care about that other bomb. Still about four and a half minutes to go until I'd like to be in our boss room. The earlier the better, to an extent, so that we have the best chance possible of being able to make it to Hush as well. But honestly, I mean, you can look at this and you can see for yourself that damage-wise we have no problems. It's possible that uh, our life total is going to be a, a problem, but not our damage for now. So first things first, we're going to fight Gish. Uh, I'm assuming that even with Chaos, Gish will just drop Little Gish, and that's... Okay by me. I don't mind having a couple more familiars on this run as long as they're as high quality as Little Gish is, which is pretty good. It's like it's basically the equivalent to having slowing shots, so uh, I don't dislike it. Yeah, Little Gish. Okay, there was a Tinted Rock back here. It's not Small Rock, but it did give us a Rules card. Rooms may yield more than expect. Experimentation is key. Interesting. I don't know what this means. I'll wait for the community to solve it. And then, you know, piggyback on the shoulders of giants, basically. I don't think we know this pill yet. Brother Bobby. Well, now I uh, regret saying that uh, I don't mind taking new familiars, but truth be told, I don't mind... Ooh, nice. I don't mind taking Brother Bobby, but it's not going to be good for us. It's not necessarily going to be bad, but it's just not, you know, it's not really anything to write home about. Brother Bobby is just like a subpar familiar. I see you Brother Bobby apologists out there, by the way. Everyone talking about, woo, NL so hard on Brother Bobby. First off, Brother Bobby is not a real creature. It's an item in a video game. I'm a real creature. You're trying to protect the feelings of, a, of a, an imaginary object and hurting my feelings in the process. That's not a very, you know, kind and gentle way to travel through life. However, um... My final point, Brother Bobby sucks. No, he's just like, he doesn't shoot very quickly and it doesn't do very much damage. It's it's better to have it than not have it, but if I had a reroll, he would have been like my first target. Alright, uh, other item room has to be up here. This is going to be our secret room, obviously. And I don't mind a greed fight. Get some more consumables and another luck upgrade. Very interested in getting these luck upgrades whenever possible. Blow up this guy, maybe a slightly better chance at a deal with the devil. And golden bombs. And the Hierophant card, which is way better than Temperance. Still plenty of time. We can explore every room here. That would be an awesome Cricket's Head pickup. That's excellent as well to increase our guppy chances. I guess we blew up the golden poop there. I didn't think uh, it was close enough, but it's not like we were going to use it anyway. I mean, in this case, it's not that we're not using... Temperance because we're worried about, you know, running out of HP. We're not using Temperance because I think that it, the damage penalty is more annoying than the potential money in HP would be useful, if that makes sense. Which it should. I, I think I've explained it relatively succinctly and properly for once. 
All right, we've done everything on this floor except for the second secret room. Wouldn't be the worst idea to get into the second secret room if we could. Still uh, waiting to see where things went wrong here for so many people. I'm not going to bother with the second secret room. Let's just... Oh my god, I used space to try to skip the uh, the cutscene before we were even in here. Not even cutscene, but, you know, vignette. Okay, this is good. Keep yourself invested here. And that was very fast. No deal with the devil. We take the negative, as usual, apparently. Uh, and we'll take Guppy's head, no doubt about that. Okay, now I'm really struggling to see where things went wrong here. But it must happen later. I trust the results of, of Mathis and Luke. I trust that they, you know, didn't just throw for no reason. Occasionally it does happen. So this is going to take us a while here. Just, you know, settle up, settle in. Settle up is when you pay your bill. Settle uh, in for a probably decently long fight here. But we are doing quite a lot of damage. We're going to have flies generated on occasion thanks to chaos, basically. I, I mean, I'm going to thank Guppy's head, but it's really chaos that uh, enabled that to, to happen in the first place. I'd like to be out of here by 23 minutes. I think that's relatively reasonable. Must be fighting uh, the Dark One as well. Yeah. I think it's relatively reasonable. Terrible damage on my part. I didn't expect him to do uh, multiple waves there, I guess. I have to say I guess because I don't know what my brain was thinking. One more hit or so and he's dead. Another Guppy's head wave and... Easy kill on Pestilence, and then we've got uh, the Hollow. Nothing wrong with that. Probably the easiest boss. Do you think so? What, what do you think is easier, Hollow or the Pin? Just Pin, I guess, but... I think Hollow is easier for the stage in the game in which you fight it. Which, I mean, admittedly, there's some variance involved there, but still. I'm like, you're fighting, like, the weakest enemy. It's an enemy that's, like, as weak as Larry Jr. Oftentimes gets stuck on the wall, dies instantly to piercing shots. You could either fight him or you could fight Gertie. Take your pick. I think I'll take uh, I'll take the the hollow fight any day of the week. Husk also pretty easy. And I'm tempted to say like Duke of Flies, but Duke of Flies can be a little tricky in the early game if you got low rate of fire and uh, no bombs. What? Oh, my hitbox is so much larger than I thought it would be. I've got golden bombs. We should be using some of these golden, you know, Mr. Mega bombs. Especially against enemies that actually, you know, eat the bombs. We have a golden heart, too. That's not bad. Oh, this is... We're going to make up a lot of time here. Uh, maybe not on the on the average person, but we're going to make up a lot of time on our... Relative to what we were at before. Uh, by placing bombs down as waves spawn. That's going to be awesome for us. I can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. We got gold in every consumable here. That you can't get a golden keys. Or golden... Uh, coin so except for that one uh, I didn't place the bomb properly that's what we're looking for that's again not what we're looking for that's what we're looking for that's the U2 single I still haven't found what I'm looking for that's the number four that's a golfer taking a shot and declaring four you get the idea stain just came out of nowhere and got me there no big deal. We still have Hierophant. In fact, we should just pop Hierophant now. Get that taken care of. You did the arm attack. You probably would have killed me. Instead, you got too greedy. Oh, come on. This is annoying because it's the... Like, two enemies that both teleport and or both jump, which is basically teleporting. And I'm like, you couldn't have spread those guys out? We got one more item coming after Chaos is done, or after um, Boss Rush is done. I'm really hoping it's our third Guppy item, but I mean, the odds of that are pretty bad, but how sweet would it be? I think that hit. Oh, we got the Fallen as well, that's no big deal. Especially if he chooses to kill War for me. It spawned! It respawned, I should say, right as I walked over top of it. You can easily argue my own fault for being there in the first place, but come on with that shit. It's like the, it's homing red poop. I don't appreciate it. That was a, a sight. I respect that. Very poor damage on my behalf, I'll admit. What the? Oh, I walked on the creep that time. Very proud of myself right now. All right, well, maybe this is where it goes south. I don't think so, though. So what was I saying? I want to be out of here by 23 minutes. We're at 22.15 right now. I wouldn't be surprised if we're a couple uh, waves away from completion. 
I may have uh, overstated the, the speed at which we'll finish this run a little bit. Finish this boss rush, I should say, not run. I'd really like to be out of here by like 24 minutes. Oh, just right into the red poop. To ensure that we can actually... Oh, there we go, Mom's Eye. Uh, to ensure that we can actually uh, beat the hush. But for now, let's just come down this way. So far, so good. Except for all that dumb damage I took. But apart from that, so far, so good. I don't think we have a serious problem with our timing right now. But I would like to hit as few dead ends as possible. Which is probably obvious, but... Uh, well, let's not leave every bomb behind. Uh, we'd really like to sort it out. I will open this golden chest, and my reasoning is, could be a guppy item. It's not, it's a little bit of money. It's very disappointing. Getting a nice fly army, though. Easily found our secret room, where we will also easily find Mega Maw. And by Mega Maw, of course I mean Mega Mush. I wouldn't expect to find a boss in here, that would be weird. Stupidly hit myself and then got explosive diarrhea. That guy will pay out with a coin. Good for points, but also irrelevant for my current interests. Alright. That was a little lucky. You know what? I would like to do this room. As much as I don't want to because I worry that we're going to take too much damage and not be able to fight Hush easily. Uh, I think it's a smart idea for us to do it. Uh, make up a little bit for the points that I stupidly lost. N and not only points, but also maybe we'll have a chance to get some spirit hearts back. Because, man... Dumb damage for me, holy shit. Okay, now I'm a little bit scared. Can we beat the Hush with this much HP? Yeah, of course we have a chance, but I'd really prefer not to, especially because we're going to Shoal right after that, you know? And, you know, Mega Satan is kind of the, the be-all, end-all on this run to, to finish it as well. Right now, we don't have a, an insanely tanky run or defensive run, so anything we can get to... Kind of make it last a little longer would be good. Tower card, not worth anything for us. So we will get a cube of meat here from death. I don't think that's necessarily bad. Uh, having an orbital probably would have protected me a little bit, but mostly this one's about to deal with the devil I expect that we'll get. We did. Also picked up a spirit heart, pretty valuable. Uh, scatter bombs and bogo bombs. I don't think either of these are worth it right now. Scatter bombs with Mr. Mega could be good, but considering I'm large and slow, and also large and slow in the game, um, this could cause us uh, some problems with uh, scatter bombs unintentionally hitting us. So, oh, you know what? Actually, I already talked to Mathis about today's daily. He told me what fucked him up. He got a curse room, curse of the tower, or something like that. And that's what, that's what fucked him up. And he kept hitting himself with bombs. Well, we can, we can teleport out of here. What was our other card? It was the tower. We don't care about that. Just hermit card out. We definitely, by the way, should have moon carded. Wow, that was bad damage. Uh, that's, that's a much smarter way to handle it. I'm starting to wonder if we're going to be able to beat Hush on this one. We do have the items down there on the Hush floor. You need seven keys. To access everything. We have nine, so we totally can. But I'm taking a lot of dumb damage, and uh, I'm, I'm worried about whether or not I have it in me today. I think I got a chance, but uh, I gotta admit, I took the... Oh, wow, that was lucky. I took the one makes you larger pills as kind of a joke. Um, but now I find myself realizing the joke is on me. Okay, good. We found our boss. Probably our second secret room right here as well. Mom's eye... I'm not going to blame Mom's Eye for the damage, but it did distract me quite a lot. This scares me. We have to try. But uh, this is this is an uncomfortable one for me personally, because I know if we lose, it's pretty much 100% entirely my own fault. So, uh, not feeling thrilled about that right now on like a self-confidence level. But the other thing is that, you know, this is a great opportunity for us to improve our self-confidence by just, you know, proving that we actually can do this here. Uh, it's, I mean, it's kind of tempting, but without guaranteed respawns, I don't think I can justify it, so... <sighs> Let's give it a shot. We're at 26,000, so this is basically probably where Luke died. Uh, Bomber Boy, I think, is really good. Squeezy, or... <laughs> oh, that's a weird one. There's Curse of the Tower. Um... It's our card, Hermit. That's probably not worth it. Well, let's check and see what we got in here. 
Infamy is a great pickup. You love to get that here. Tapeworm is actually awesome for us as well. The gauze is great. Uh, I think we take... Like, Tapeworm's so good for our extra range here. I think we take Squeezy, honestly. For the extra rate of fire upgrade and also the spirit hearts that will give me a better chance to live. I think this is borderline essential. So, we'll head in and uh, let's, let's do this up. What do we got here? The Hermit, right. Not very useful. Um, I think that this gives us enough to live. The big thing here is that we can actually stand so far away that um, this version of Hush can't easily hit us. I do worry that the other version of Hush, you know, we're going to be in bullet hell territory for a lot of that. But that's alright. You know, being large is going to give us a pretty huge disadvantage there, but that's okay. I gotta admit, you know, Curse of the Tower is kind of tempting, because we have Bomber Boy. But, it, you know, some people might look at that and say the inverse, you know. Maybe it's Curse of the Tower is way worse for us because we have Bomber Boy. But I, I, I respect the damage from Bomber Boy, man. Not the damage that it would do to us, obviously, just the damage that it does. Bomber Boy doesn't do what Bomber Boy buzz. <laughs> Surprisingly tough to say. Okay, so far so good on the dodges. Where were these dodges on uh, Womb 1, man? That being said, my nose, real itchy. Oh, I'll get that scratch in. Yeah, good opportunity to get that scratch in right there. Okay. Thank God we had this range. Gives time for the bullets to separate a little bit before they come in here. Every time we get hit, we're going to get three flies out of Guppy's uh, head. That's a terrible incentive to take damage right now. Against the hush, at least. Against uh, normal rooms, that would do quite a lot for us. Maybe kill every remaining enemy on the room, possibly. But uh, against Hush, that's going to be relatively meaningless. But we're doing really well so far. This happens a lot, though. I, I start out a Hush fight doing pretty well. Then things go tits up before the end. Let's put a bomb down. Like, Bomber Boy really is a great damage dealer. If we can use it constructively. Alright, just make sure, well, just not even make sure, just hope you're safe from the continuum shots. And if you are, this is free damage. Whoa! <laughs> uh, took a hit there, but uh, Infamy protected me. We're more than halfway through the fight already. Wait for the continuum shots to stop. There we go. Now we have a window where we can actually move. Uh, so far, really, really pleased with this hush fight. Yeah, it's going well. Uh, just stand still again, as long as you're uh, immune to the continuum shots or getting lucky from infamy. That's that's all the recourse you need to not make move a muscle, basically. As of right now, we got him down to like 80% gone. We have to move now. Just get those flies to kind of propagate in a different direction. Anytime we manage to hit uh, a nub, it will die, I think, in one hit, even if it's fully charged. So we want to take these out so that Hush's movement is not really impaired. We want him to kind of be able to move freely. Tapeworm's doing great work for us as well. We're going to have to dodge through here at some point. I think. Yeah, there we go. First bit of damage you've taken. Uh, I'm really scared, though, because the beam of light attack, we won't be able to dodge. So I'm, I'm considering that maybe we just die when that happens. That's not something we can afford to have happen. Mom's eye just saved us from taking a hit there for sure. So throw in some bombs, man, because... Oh, continuum shots? Stand still. Throw in some bombs because we really need to kill Hush before he kills us. The more time he spends in continuum shots, the better it is for us, honestly. Oh, uh, just keep... Just keep incrementing the damage down, I believe. Don't let him do any beam of light attacks. He's like 95% dead. Oh, uh, just stick it out, man. Gemini! Man, piercing shots would be so valuable right now as well. Just get in there, drop a bomb. Did good work. We killed him. We killed him before he could do it. That's awesome. Okay. We didn't need to take Squeezy. Maybe we would have been better off with Head of the Keeper. But there you go. 30,000 points. We crossed that, uh... We crossed that, uh, 28,000 threshold. Let's teleport. Yeah, that was a pretty clutch teleport right there, if I do say so myself. Uh, being able to move one room. That's a functionality I never would have expected in my lifetime to 
Blah, 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 blah. Joke, 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 joke. Um, so, I, as of right now, I'm p pleased. Pleased is on the, on the spectrum of happiness. It's a little bit below proud. I'm not quite proud of this run yet, and I think we've mostly played relatively bad. But we know that at least for when I'm doing this, which is, you know, past the point of, like, most people being done with the daily, I think. Um, we're gonna be in the top 1,000. There's nothing wrong with being in the top 1,000. You're amongst good company. You're amongst people who know what they're doing in the Binding of Isaac, for sure. Um, do we have a, a chance at top 100 here? Yeah, I think if we can beat Mega Satan, we probably do. This is gonna be one of those runs where I'm gonna be focusing on basically not taking damage, so I'm actually not going to uh, do every room on the uh, on the dark room, or on Shoal for that matter. At least I'm not going to do them intentionally. If we have to do them because I go in the wrong direction, well shit happens, right? I will do these rooms for the extra bonus, and also of course uh, for the chance to get items, delicious items such as uh, Anarchist Cookbook, just an all-time classic that's really going to help us out here as we get into the late game. I'm joking, of course. With Bomber Boy, that's probably near suicide. It's my own fault I took damage on this room, of course, so... Can't really be too pissed. Do we have enough HP to beat Mega Satan right away? It's a great question. I wish I knew the answer to it. Because it's either we fight him right away, or we, um... We try to farm up some spirit hearts, and usually that's... I mean, necessity's the mother of invention, man, but that's usually a fool's gamble right there, you know? Try to get more spirit arts than you lose fighting fairly difficult rooms. Hoping this is our secret room. Otherwise, we probably can't justify going to the curse room. So, we probably can't justify going to the curse room. And that's okay. It's not the be-all, end-all. This could be our secret room. This could be our lucky star. It is our secret room. We'll probably make an effort to look for our second secret room as well. Just to see if we can get, like, like one extra black card could make a huge difference. Well, we're kind of a glass cannon right now. We're, we're like a glass piece of artillery. Maybe glass cannon's a little over the top. But we have, like, decent, with really good damage, and especially really good bombs. And okay HP. But I'd really like to have better damage and better HP. Wonder if we can get another guppy item from our, our red chest right away. That would make me the happiest camper. If we live to the dark room... And then we just immediately get our third guppy piece. Doesn't have to be nine lives. In fact, it might be better if it's not. Guppy's hairball might kind of be like the happiest outcome for us. We're going to be using bombs fairly consistently here. Especially to hurt myself. The uh, the old self Mr. Mega Bomb. Really underrated tactic, I find. That was dumb damage. Now, I'm not, like, I'm not worried about our damage right now. Because, or our HP right now. Because we're obviously going to uh, conceivably win against... Satan here. I'm worried about the Mega Satan situation more than anything else, but we did it. Okay. So we made it here. Do we fight Mega Satan with this little HP? It scares me a great deal. I can't deny it. That's bad. That's spiders. That's the pentagram, which means it probably would have been a guppy item if I didn't take chaos. I think we gotta go for it, honestly. The good news is, unlike a lot of boss fights, our speed, uh... Stat is not going to be as relevant of a concern as it is on other boss fights. So, um, oh, Infamy, you may have just won us the run there. Like, speed against, um, against Satan is really important so you can actually effectively dodge. Against Mega Satan, I guess there's some waves it'll be relevant for, but for the most part, you know, it, it's all about our damage and our ability to survive. I hate when he summons mini-bosses in the middle of a, like, us actually fighting him. Seems so unfair, man. Like, we barely managed to get through that first phase without getting hit. Pestilence, admittedly, is an enemy for whom, you know, speed makes a huge difference. <laughs> Ooh, uh, because of those bombs. But uh, war as well, so we're going to focus on getting him down here. Take care of the scythes whenever possible. Good stuff, good stuff. No Zambros. A few Zambros. Him being dead, we're gonna drop a Mr. Mega Bomb up there. Don't really care about killing his hands, but like, definitely interested in finishing the wave as quickly as possible. So it looks like we'll probably—I don't want to say we're probably gonna get through this yet, because we still got some difficult waves to get through. 
If we get through this one without getting hit, I would be very pleased. Not Super Emmy, but like all the mini bosses that spawn here. All, all the seven deadly sins. Okay, leave one enemy alive. Place a bomb, shoot the other enemy. I fucked it up. Our, our Bomberman bombs, I really expect to be uh, Bomber Boy, sorry. Let's avoid the copyright infringement from Atlas. Uh, I really want to avoid um, wasting them and make sure that we use them in the best way we possibly can. Wow, I can't believe we didn't get hit there. Okay, Gluttony should be dead. Make sure to drop a bomb in there as soon as possible. One bomb, whoa, he spawned the hollow. One bomb, two bombs might be enough to take us through to the next phase. And then it's angel statues. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Oh, we got lucky. I didn't even have to guess which direction he was going. I mean, these Mr. Mega Bomberman bombs are going to be real strong. Lucky us. We chose wisely. How are you not dead yet? You ate a bomb on the face to begin with. Oh, so stupid of me. Yo, just give me like a half red heart, man. Are you almost dead? Doesn't matter. Throw a bomb down. Good, good, good. That phase is done. I don't expect this to be easy, but we have every available chance here. That didn't hit you? I find this very surprising. Somehow didn't get hit there. He's, he doesn't have visible facial scarring. This frightens me. Where's the visible facial scarring? There's a safe window here. Great stuff. Mild, visible facial scarring. Don't laser me, dude. Oh, we've done well. We've done well. You did good, kid. Don't get cocky. We did it! That was actually a really uh, surprisingly skill-testing daily considering how strong it looked. Uh, for now, whew, top 200 maybe? 168, that's pretty good. Damage penalty I wasn't thrilled with, but uh, time is still pretty good here as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.